Hey South Haven, I'm Ashley Jackson here with your Charger Nation news on CNTV. Any 11th graders wishing to sign up for the Comp English class in the spring, please sign up with Mrs. Williams in the counselor's office. Any 11th graders interested in becoming a physician and wanting to get experience in the medical field, please see Mrs. Williams in the counselor's office. You must have a 24 on your ACT to apply for this five week program at Mississippi State University. Juniors and seniors, the ASVAB will be given January the 13th. This is the military entrance exam. This is if you are interested in the Army, Marine, Air Force, Navy, or Coast Guard. Sign up for the exam in either the main office or the counselor's office. I believe t-shirt sale has begun. Last day to purchase is this Friday. See a cheerleader, Mrs. Gibbs, or Miss Painter to order. If you haven't picked yours up, go by the table at lunch to do so. The Christmas coat drive is still going on. Please consider bringing a gently worn coat for the less fortunate. Make sure they are clean and have no holes or tears. Last day to collect is Friday, December 19th. Bring to Hatch on A Hall, Professor Smith on B Hall, or Miss McMahon on C Hall. Teachers may give extra credit. Hope you're all wearing your awesome hats today. Don't forget tomorrow to wear your ugliest sweater. And this has been Ashley Jackson with your Charger Nation News on CNTV. What Christmas gift have you received that you appreciate the most? Being alive. Uh, my mama got me a, a laptop so I can make some beats on it. That's it. Uh, I still got an easy bake oven last year. My dog. I appreciate the Lord. It will be God letting me see another day. It's the best gift ever in the whole lot world. A t-shirt with a foot on it and my homeboy Miguel. This is my homeboy Miguel. Check our new mixtape. Drop a ticket. Money. National Honors, a premier organization established to recognize some outstanding high school students for their outstanding achievements. And not only this, but challenge them to develop further through active involvement in and outside of school. The high standards held by National Honor Society can be intimidating to new members and even top students in the class. Benjamin Shrek, president of National Honor Society, also feels pushed to strive for a better tomorrow, stating, I feel it pushes me to keep up with my grades so that I stay involved in class and in my community. Speaking of community, what exactly are members doing as community service? Ben states he is doing anything in the community he can get his hands on, from food pantries to church volunteer work. Even having word from a new inductee stating that she's already been involved with the community by helping out with local flood victims. But as we know, it isn't all about giving your time. You're also required to be a leader. A worthwhile leader is one who has the ability to say yes or no at the right time. One who is patient, kind, generous, humble, and unselfish. Thus, the self-master one becomes a leader. May we be inspired to go forth as leaders. Ben has been a prime example by taking on the major role of National Honor Society president. But why such a big role? I thought it would be nice to have a more active role in influencing the members to continue with their service and academic scholarship. You don't have to be head of a club just to show your leadership. New inductee Megan made a valid point stating, I try to lead by example because you never know who is watching. Leadership comes in wide ranges, and I think anyone can take this role. It's just your choice. So what else is there? Service? Leadership? Do you think you have the character? Character is a fundamental part of success in any field. Foresight, determination, perseverance, as well as talent are all essential. Individuals who set their goals at their highest potential and then strive to reach that potential are likely to succeed far more than those who demand less from the start. <coughs> Henry David Thoreau once wrote, if you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. The desire to work hard, to take chances, and not be satisfied with mere mediocrity defines the person of character. Talent is indispensable. So this defines their standard of character. New inductee Megan also states, this kind of goes back to leadership. I know people are watching, so I always try to be myself and nothing less. So you do the service, you have the leadership, and you know your character. But have you been giving 100% in your grades? Scholarship. It's not always about drowning in AP classes or struggling in honors. It's about giving your all in everything you do.
to take the time out of your busy schedule to study for 10 minutes or take into consideration the paper you have in two weeks, it's easier than it sounds if you make the time. You may be asking yourself, what's the importance in all this? It's to show it's never too late to make a better tomorrow. It's never too late to show these qualities to your school, to your friends, to your family, or yourself. Prove a point. You are capable. You can always strive for a better, no matter who you are, where you come from, or your grades right now. No matter how low you think you are, you have the potential. Each and every single human being has the ability and capacity to do something amazing. It's never too late whether you're a freshman in college or a freshman in high school. You have the power to strive for anything you desire. Let's see what our fellow South Haven Chargers have to say. Megan, if we had everyone act with these qualities that National Honor Society look for, the world would be a better place because it's mainly consisting of selfless acts. It's never too late to try to become part of the National Honor Society. It's such an honor and anybody in the school can reach it. Thank you for being here, whether you're a parent, a grandparent, a mentor, what have you. Um, these are outstanding um, accomplishments. These are national standards and um, it's not just over a uh, uh, nine weeks. Uh, it takes uh, a body of work to reach this accomplishment. This is something to be very proud of and to, uh, to celebrate. And, and for you, how proud I am of you um, for, joining, uh, for joining this society and uh, for earning uh, your ride into it. So uh, I hope, uh, hope you know what an what a awesome accomplishment this is. If you take anything from this, take this. It's never too late. Solidarity. Acceptance. Amity. Oneness. Harmony. Rapport. Unison. Peace. Understanding. Together. Unity is something necessary for humanity. Remember that when conflict or separation arises in your life.